sophistication of uncorking a fine bottle of wine, but as devices go, these caps are one of the easiest ways to put an airtight seal on a bottle or jar. And the added bonus is that they're entirely recyclable. There are hundreds of everyday objects that are capped. This plant makes 250 million metal bottle tops yearly in 12 different sizes. The bottle tops are made from these one square meter sheets of aluminium weighing 450 grams. Some 3,500 thin aluminium sheets pass through this feeder. They begin by coloring the aluminium sheet with varnish, a lacquer and an ink. 12 minutes of drying time is needed. The coloured sheets are set off on a conveyor for drying. Then designs are produced. The colouring is applied by this varnisher. The aluminium sheets pass through the varnisher one at a time. Here the sheet is printed. Above are the colours used. They are highly coloured inks that adhere well to metal. Suction cups grab the sheets and send them towards the transport system of the punch press. This press will give the caps the required shape. But the caps have to be machined in successive steps by moulds such as this one. The punches first cut the tops. Over 500 caps a minute can be produced. The blades of the punches are made of carbide, a very hard metal that can cut tens of millions of caps. At the exit point of the punch press, the caps are formed but don't yet have the right dimension. This stretching press performs the last two cold forming steps so that the tube will have the required length. Now for the second stretching. This achieves the desired diameter. When the bottle top exits the press, it will finally have the desired dimension. At this point, the cap now has the required shape. The caps now have to be decorated to the client's requirements. The lateral imprint is made with this silk screen type decorator, which colors some 100 caps in 60 seconds. The decorator uses an ink specially formulated to adhere to metal. The caps will then dry in a warm air oven. The dried caps are ejected and fall into a container. This decorator prints 155 caps a minute. The ink roller, which imprints the sides of the caps, rotates in a steady stream. All that's required now is to form the bottle top and make the cut. The profiling and jointing machine makes the cuts and reliefs on 200 bottle tops per minute. Machining the cap takes but a fraction of a second. They sometimes have to assure the water tightness of a container, such as a wine bottle. For this, a polypropylene liner is inserted, which hermetically seals the container. A check is carried out under a light to verify whether the cut has been properly made and the ridges well formed. At last, the final steps. This screw tightening machine hermetically seals the caps onto the bottles. The 250 million bottle tops made here each year call for the machining of 1,000 metric tons of aluminium. <laughs>